All right, friends, it's noon on Monday the 5th. I'm gonna have a couple of bee sticks and a couple pieces of candy because of this one. <laughs> Super close up kitty. She's demanding pets, so I'm gonna give her some love and eat it, this. And that'll be my first meal of Monday. All right, guys, it is five o'clock on the dot on Monday the 5th. It's been a hungry kind of day. <laughs> I'm gonna cut up with some of this chicken that I cooked in the air fryer, and I'm gonna have it with this family size Caesar. Um, I'll probably pick out the croutons if they're in there. I don't think they are. I'm probably gonna eat half of this because as you can see, it's starting to go a little yellow. I'm gonna have that with a few strawberries, and my blood pressure, no, blood sugar is 149. I did have like three or four centers left, so at least for a month, um, I'll be able to share what it is without having to poke myself all day. So yeah, so this is dinner on Monday. I'll show it to you or take a picture when it's all put together. Come here, little beggar. Come here. Hey friends, it's 2.30 on Tuesday the 7th? 6th? Lord. Having the rest of that salad, this was a family size Caesar salad in a bag and I had made some chicken to go with and I've added um, the cheese, the dressing and some black pepper. So this will be what I eat today. I may have something later. Last night I had a snow cone bowl after dinner and this morning I had my um, cold brew coffee. So this is meal on Tuesday. Hey friends, it's 4.15 on Wednesday, August the 7th, I think. So I have been craving burritos now for two days. So I went to Taco Bueno. If you're in Oklahoma and Texas, you probably know what I'm talking about. I asked for a big old burrito with no vegetables and no sour cream. So apparently tomatoes aren't classified as a vegetable with them. Anyway, so this is what it normally looks like and I'm dividing it onto these mission low carb tortillas. So once again, the better bad choice. Gonna have it with some sour, not sour cream, salsa MSD. Um, I had a Starbucks earlier. I've been getting the salted caramel cold brew foam thing that they have with sugar-free syrup instead of the regular syrup. And um, I know that the foam itself isn't low carb, but it doesn't bump up my sugar too much, my glucose too much. So yeah, and I have it very infrequently. So anyway, that's a long winded what I'm eating today, but there you go. All right, friends, it's 1220 on Thursday the 8th, I think of August. So I'm going to have some borsan. I like the garlic and herb the best, although all three of them are good. And I'm going to have these. These are gross. And you can find seed recipes, seed cracker recipes. I've made seed crackers before. These are gross. They smell gross. They taste gross. But borsan can probably fix them. So I'm going to have that. And I'm going to start with this much. And we'll see how we do. So yeah. I'm going to eat them because we paid a lot of money for them but never again. That was 100% a fail. So we're trying um, pizza buckets. This is just mission tortillas with some pepperoni and cheese folded and then I put it in the toaster. Saw someone do that, it actually worked. Um, I didn't put anything else in it so it's gonna be pretty bland, but yeah, those crackers are bleh, in the garbage. Friends. It's seven. I I literally just woke up from a nap. And um, yeah, sometimes I get a spell and I don't know what else to call it where I have to go to bed right then. It's like right then, right now. And that's what happened earlier. It was about 4.30. So um, two hours and two hours and 15 minute nap means I'll probably be awake. Oh, and I had caffeine too. So I don't know, but anyway, I'm I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry enough to make something. Plus, Rob's not eating today or tomorrow, so I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to eat things that he enjoys. So I'm gonna have some Magic Spoon cereal with some cashew milk. I really like the Magic Spoon cereal. Yes, it's stupid expensive. I don't eat it all the time, but this lemon cake one tastes 
just like a lemon buntlet from um nothing bunt except it has it's not um it's called artificially sweetened and the, just you really can't replicate the actual taste of sugar like that but yeah it's pretty good and they have a new banana muffin one i think i want to get two but we'll see so anyway it's a long-winded two-hour minute thing or two minute thing to say that i'm gonna have some cereal with some milk for dinner and that's that might be it for the night i don't know but like i said i'm not very hungry i'm just hungry words it's one o'clock i forgot to film <laughs> i made two scrambled eggs with a little bit of onion uh and some chopped bacon and i put it with some salsa and i'm having it on low carb tortillas so i already had one this is the second one um hot sauce left over from taco bueno last week so yeah that's lunch ish all right, friends, here's dinner. Um, probably a third of that bag of Caesar salad. Uh, I tasted this with a piece of lettuce. I I don't know. And then I tried this one. Yeah, it's okay. But the real winner is this. This is no sugar added honey mustard from Sweet Baby Ray's. And you can see it's got two carbs per tablespoon. Alios. So... Again, I'm not doing strict keto. I'm not counting carbs, really, and I'm not counting calories. So, I'm basically just eating as low carb as possible. Oh, and my chicken nuggets. These are the canned chicken with eggs and cheese. And probably two cups. No, I'm just kidding. Probably about a third of a cup or a half a cup of seasoning because I hate the taste of canned chicken. So, yeah. That is dinner. Okay, bye. All right, guys, it is 4, almost 4.45. I have a little bit of hunger, so I'm going to have one of these. These are actually really good. Even Rob likes them, and he doesn't like anything sugar-free. I don't, I have questions about the um, uh, one gram of net carb, but yeah. They're pretty good. They're not huge munges. They're expensive AF, but I don't have one every day. Well, not now, but peanut butter is my favorite, but the caramel is also delicious. Hey friends, it is uh, Wednesday, August the 14th, I think. It's 3 p.m. I'm starving. I had Starbucks earlier. I've been getting the salted caramel cold brew with sugar-free vanilla instead of regular vanilla. And today was the first day that I was able to kind of check my glucose afterwards. And I went from 118 to 134. And it's delicious. So, yeah. And I don't get it all the time. Because as you can see here, this is my coffee station. And yes, that is a laxative. <laughs> okay. So, it's 3 p.m. I'm going to have half of a big juicy ribeye for dinner in just a couple hours. So, I thought, you know what? Let me just make something sweet um, to kind of just... Give me a little something, something. So I'm gonna make a creamsicle. So I've got the Fanta Zero sugar, and I've got about a third of a pint of Rebel. If you've never had Rebel, it's expensive AF, but it's actually pretty good. Now I, I can't tell you my favorite flavors because it's been forever since I've had some, but I like their salted caramel. I liked the cherry chip, although I wish it didn't have chocolate chips in it. And I like the banana one. So, yeah, they have, oh, and pistachio. I was on a pistachio kick there for a while. That's actually pretty good, too. Um, I just had chocolate chocolate something the other day, and I, I didn't care for that. It tastes like powdered, powdered chocolate, and I hate that. So, anyway, this is going in the cup. The Fanta is going on top of it. I'm making a creamsicle ice cream float um, to kind of tide me over until we have dinner later today. Okay, here we go. That was actually like just like two tablespoons of ice cream left in that. But yeah, the better bad choice, remember? Better bad choice. I shouldn't say it's a bad choice. I need to stop assigning morality to food. Let's work on that together, okay? Okay. All right, friends, it's, is that 5.30 or 6.30? Uh, 5.30. 5.30. 
I made um, steaks, raw busy, you know, sirloin. I'm eating half a ribeye. Yes, it's huge munches, but look at that fat. I'm so excited. And some Caesar salad. And I have this much salad left, so you're going to see Caesar salad and steak tomorrow too. So that is dinar on the 14th. My blood sugar has stayed in the 130s, so doing pretty good, pretty good. It's 131 on Thursday, the 10th, nope, I don't know, one day. Um, last night I made half of our steaks, and look at all this yummy steak fat. So I'm gonna cook eggs, maybe not all four, maybe just three, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna fry them in this steak fat, and then later tonight I will make the rest of the steaks. So yeah, yum. I'll show you when it's done. No honey, yo I did cook all four. Yum. Food. <laughs> Name that movie. Food. Anyway, four eggs over hard um, and steak fat. I can't wait. Hey mama. Hey baby. Hi. No, don't put your butt in my face. That's rude. Come on. Hi. Hi. You need some loves. You just need some loves. Mama's been filming. You've been asleep. Crazy girl. Hi, friends. It's almost, well, it's 7.15-ish. Half a ribeye. A small can of mushrooms cooked in the residual fat. Let's see, since I saw you last, um, we got Starbucks and I had a Trenta cold brew. So I'll be up for the next three days. Um, I don't, I, 10 out of 10, don't recommend having that after having coffee in the morning and then Diet Dr. Pepper. Like I don't, 10 out of 10, don't recommend. So if the, if the video is a little shaky, it's because I've had a lot of caffeine. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Bye. All right, friends, it's Friday. It's right at 11. So I made a sandwich I have been thinking about for months. <laughs> I made cinnamon toast and I put a piece of sausage, a piece of cheese, and some scrambled eggs on top. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. I'm already starving and we're gonna have dinner late because it's Rob's shopping night. So yeah, anyway, this is meal number one on Friday. We have a creeping creeper who's creeping around. <laughs> All right, it's 9.30. Told you it'd be a while before we ate because Rob had a big shopping trip today. We got Subway, buy one, get one free. And then we had $4, so we ended up getting two sandwiches for $8. Of course, I'm gonna have mine on the keto bread. And then I heard someone talk about these. Can you hear her? Roxy, Lord, cat. So I'm gonna give these a taste. Now I mentioned how I don't like their salted caramel bars. So hopefully these don't taste the same, but we'll see. But yeah, I'll probably only, I may eat all of this I'm actually, I'm hungry, but I'm gonna put it on my keto bread. Blood sugar is 109. That's the lowest it's been in a hot minute. So yeah, okay, that's, that's it for today. Oops. Good, is it still morning? No. <laughs> Hey friends, it's like almost one o'clock. I had no idea so much time had passed. My hair looks a hot mess. I got up and took a shower and then just left it. And it's frizzy. So anyway, I'm about to eat the leftover chicken nuggets from the other day. I'm gonna have some of this, which is actually really good. Two carbs per eight. What is this sweetened with? Grape juice. Aspartame Ace K. It's pretty good, I like it. I wish, I know they make the small single serve packets, but I wish Country Time Lemonade did the bigger tubs. Now Walmart makes a really tasty sugar-free lemonade, but it's sweet with maltodextrin, I believe, and it bumps me up. Glucose up every flippin' time. And that's rude. <laughs> That's also rude. So yeah, I, um, I'm swollen today and 
I had a really hard time with inflammation this morning and I don't know why. Like I, I haven't had anything carby since Sunday. So it didn't make any, was it Sunday? Yeah, I think it was Sunday. So it doesn't make any sense. So I doubled up on my water pill and took an extra anti-inflammatory, which you're not supposed to do, but I did it anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll see how I feel later today. But yeah, so I just heated those up in the air fryer. I don't use a recipe. It's literally a can of drained chicken, an egg, and some cheese. Um, I use ch just shredded cheese that we have in the refrigerator. And I sometimes add a second egg. This time I did two cans of chicken drained, two eggs, and then a, you, if you don't mind the taste of canned chicken, you don't have to season it very much, whether with some salt and pepper. But if you're like me and you don't like the taste of canned chicken, I use the kindness, is it kindness? I think it's kindness from Penzi's. This time I use the chicken from the Montreal chicken seasoning. We don't like the steak seasoning, but we really like the chicken one. And I used to cook Robert, Robert. I used to cook, I mean, his name is Robert, but I never cooked him. I used to cook Rob chicken in bulk and he got tired of having to cut it up and stuff like that. So now he just buys it and I'm fine with that. But we bought up like three huge, three or four huge tubs, like the big of those, of that seasoning. And I'm like, okay, I've got to get through these. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to eat, going to have some more of the sweet baby rays. This is really good. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm eating. This, this may be my only meal today. Um, I don't know, but I'll keep it posted. My hair, man, it's bad.